Blessings, blessings, blessings. Give thanks and praise unto the Heavenly Father for His guidance and protection. Grace and mercy, wonderful and everlasting love. To know that without Him nothing not possible, but all things possible with and through Him. So I continue giving Him praise and glorify Him. Welcome to How Can I Help Speak on this channel and this is Murphy. Before I jump into it, people don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Help me to reach 300. And when we get to 300, we can talk about we're going to get to 400 and what we're going to do to get there. And how you're going to help me out more. Alright? Because if you watch more than one or two of my videos, I know they're not the greatest, but I know you can relate. And if you've been with me, keep viewing, keep viewing, keep viewing. But I see the views. Subscribe to the channel, man. And always leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And when you subscribe, click the notification bell. Alright? So let's jump into it. I will call this one, What If? What if Jamaica was like some other countries? that deal with crime and criminal different from how we deal with them right now. Especially people who rape, rape children. Hmm? What if Jamaica was like some African country? Or not even say African countries, some of them other countries that we read about and so forth, how they deal with people who steal when they catch them, or how they deal with people who rape or kill or stuff like that. Do you think we would have so much going on down there? Do you think we would have so much going on down there? Because it makes me wonder. The things that they're doing, some of it is constantly going on. It's just constant going on. Ain't no stopping. The same kind of killing keep repeating over and over and over. If it's not by gun, it's somebody get them head chopped off. If it's not by gun, it's somebody get them head chopped off. So what if we have dealt with the criminals like how some other countries do? Give them stiff penalty. Let them think like your parents always say, always think twice before you do what you're going to do. Because there's a consequence. But the consequence right now for the criminals, it ain't nothing severe. That's how they're looking at it. Because if someone can rape a child and get eight years, eight years, or ten years, or five years, or whatever, if they survive in jail, they're coming out. But the person, that child, or that adult, or whoever they take advantage of, will forever live with that. It makes some woman don't even want to talk to no man. It makes some woman hate man and think that all oh, men is the same. I know we have some dirty ones out there, some real dirty, nasty, disgusting ones out there. But we also have some decent and intelligent, well manageable, no how to treat women. They ain't never got no time to abuse or use none of them. Or even to make highs of their children. There's some good decent men out there. So what if? And the reason why I come up with this what if. Jamaica was like some of these countries who deal with criminals and you know these things. On a severe these. I saw a video earlier today. And um, it came with a message under it. And it says this this man raped a five-year-old child and got caught immediately and was shot 
to death. So I clicked the video and I start watching it. They said it happened in Sudan. And they had the man in the square. Soldiers or police, but they were dressed in army uniform. They have him in the square. And the soldiers stand over him. He laid on his stomach with his hand behind him. And just stand over him with the gun. As a matter of fact, he didn't even hold it with two hands. He just hold it with one hand. Hold a rifle or the AK-47 or whatever he had in there. And just go BANG! And the man twitched. And he just rolled him back over. And shot him in the head again. And shot him in the head again. And rolled him over. And shot him in the head again. And I'm like, wow. That's how they deal with people that rape. You rape a child. Now, I don't know if the video is real, but it makes me wonder. What if? Because, you know, what's going on back home ain't nice at all. And sometimes you, you don't have words to... You can't find the words to analyze or to, you know, describe what is going on. Because it is so uncalled for, disgusting, crazy. Some of these people can't even find food to eat, clothes for wear, but they have guns. So what if we had a stiff penalty for these criminals? That make them think twice before they even... <laughs> If they even dream, as my mother would say, if you dream, if you're sleeping and you dream that you kick my butt, wake up and apologize. That's something that would make them think, man. Because when I seen this video and all this soldier shoot the man in the head five times, I guess the five, five bullets is for the five-year-old child that he raped. And then they put a harness around him, around his waist and heist him up in the square so everybody could see. And they were going on, people were like, la, 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 la. they were doing all kinds of stuff. I didn't know what kind of language or what they were doing. But it makes me wonder, what if? Do you think we would have so much things going on back home constantly? Not saying that it wouldn't happen, but it wouldn't happen to work at the rate that it's going. There's another video that I've seen last year summer some of these videos especially the one today i couldn't put that up because as you know some of you people know what youtube is you know they will flag your channel and you know who knows they can cool you down for a while so i don't want to expose anything that's going to cause my channel to shut down so get back to it i saw another video last summer and then it was in Africa somewhere again and I don't know I don't remember if this man had was it rape or he steal and they caught him but they tied him up tied up his hands like this and they tied his legs apart just the same and he was stripped naked there was two pieces of stick coming from his side with um, it's like something what they use to old dogs when the dog catcher catch them to hold them steady and hold them out there so they don't bite them or stuff like that so they got tore around his waist and it's just tight so you know he can't move and they were whipping him with a piece of stick i would say that piece of stick is a guava stick or it could be yeah i don't know, it could be guava but that's the closest thing come to mind and they whip that man and they whip him they whip him till my stomach started to feel funny. I feel like I was going to puke when I was watching the video. They beat that man till you see flesh start flying off his ass. Flesh. So I look at the penalty that some of these countries have for people who do certain crimes. Does it make people stop? No. But you remember, you know what the penalty gonna be. It ain't gonna be no five years in jail if they catch you. Like I said, 
in this country that they tell me that it was Sudan where the man raped the five-year-old, got five bullets in the head in the square. This other one that I've seen where this man was stripped naked and beaten till his butt was bloody, I know he couldn't sit down for a month. There's no way he could have sit down on his butt after that. Months before he could sit down. So I say, what if? Our penalty back home is different than what it is now that put the living fear in some of them. Because people always say they're not afraid, they're not fear dead, trust me. Every man fears something, doesn't matter what. Doesn't matter, sorry, doesn't matter who. Every man on the face of God earth fears something. Yeah. Anyway, people, what if, what if, what if, leave your comment, like and share, thanks for your support so far, remember I want to reach 300 subscribers, so help me out, grab your friend's phone, like I said, if you watch more than two of my videos, three of my videos, grab your friend's phone and type it in for them and subscribe it, all right? And don't forget, I have a food cooking channel, Murphy's Catering Kitchen, also on YouTube. Also looking for your support, all right? Murphy's and Murphets, peace and love to everyone.